As a clarification, I'm making videos with QuickTime Movie, not because I prefer this. Actually, it's because of the new YouTube glitch where I don't think you can do direct from webcam uploads anymore. You have to use iMovie or QuickTime Player or any software program like that. You can't just rely on YouTube in and of itself. Or you can use a Google Hangout. But you already know what I think of Google+. Plus. It's not very ideal for me. I don't really like it that much. So I'm just going to explore things this way. I'm going to use QuickTime Movie. Since I know that iMovie takes forever. And this is the ideal. It's the same quality. Moving on. It's kind of funny what's happening with the NBA Finals. We're currently seeing the rematch of last year's NBA Finals of Miami Heat versus the Spurs. Only this time the ending may be different because Miami Heat has one victory and the Spurs has three. And no time in the NBA Finals has there ever been a moment where a team is down 3-1. to one. It's going to be Game 5 for them, but it might as well be Game 7 for them, and not for the other person. There's never been a situation like that where the team on the losing side, when they're losing that hard, manages to make it. And I'm okay with that. But my issue is that if this doesn't lead to a game seven, or at least to a game six, if all of this is over at game five, and that means that there's something wrong with the Eastern Conference. Even my younger hold up, my younger sibling who happens to be a New York Knicks fan, I happen to be a Chicago Bulls fan, there's an acknowledgement that the only decent teams on the East Coast or the Eastern Conference are the Indiana Pacers and the Miami Heat. And considering how bad of a sports city those two places are, Indiana is not a city, but at least I don't think it is. No, it's not. Miami's a terrible sports city, and Indiana is a terrible state for sports, so. We already know that there's something wrong. Some of these places have a lot of money that they could invest to training these players, to helping them improve their game and getting good talents. There's a lot of good talents. There's a lot of great talents in the Eastern Conference, yet, as we've seen, they don't play as athletic a game. And the fact that we could be seeing this NBA Finals end in a game five instead of a six or seven, that's a problem. That might as well be a sweep. This might as well end in a game four because the message is the same. Heat was... Fairly dominant throughout the East Coast in the playoffs. I wouldn't say so because they've had plenty of losses that could discredit that. Meanwhile, when it gets to the West Coast, where there's a lot of talent, the Spurs have been doing a much better job. Especially going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder, where it was exciting. It was probably the best last game, a game six I've ever seen. But now it's come to a point where one doesn't seem to hold a candle to the other. The Eastern Conference doesn't seem to hold a candle to the Western Conference. That bothers me because I'm all about the East side, so come on. This is really bothersome. But maybe I'm putting my blame and my critique on something too large as an entire conference. 
yes, it's not as athletic, and the playing style and the way they're being taught and coached is way different, but... Perhaps I'm being unfair. Perhaps it's just a problem of Miami Heat. That they can't do the same thing again and again. Insanity is using the same insanity quote again and again, expecting different results. So I'm not going to use that quote. It's not an act of insanity. Especially since they've been getting the same results. And now it's showcasing that perhaps it's time to employ different strategies. Perhaps it's time for the heat to stop being floppers. Stop expecting a foul handed to them at every second. Anyways, this is Mr. Wonka 7. Sorry I'm so critical, especially since I'm trash and b-ball, but SMD anyway.